Good morning, folks. We've got the largest eruption yet of that Caribbean volcano. We've got stories on climate, Earth's magnetic field, and cosmology. But the sun is waking back up now, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the sun brought the southern coronal hole and active region into view. The active region developed its sunspots a bit and began small-scale flaring over the last day, B range only, but the larger eruptions continue to present from filament destabilizations. This was yet another one to add to those we saw yesterday, filament lifting on the incoming limb and breaking out into a CME. From Soho Lasco C2, we can see both of those eruptions, both missing Earth about 90 degrees to the left, behind our orbit as this satellite looks from Earth's perspective. Let's go to that volcano. Two eruptions three days ago and a major one yesterday creating pyroclastic flows. On its CO2, ash, and sulfur dioxide emissions, you can see the plume of that largest event yesterday. We're heading out to the cosmos, where the search for different dark matter particles continues. Also deviating from WIMP dark matter here, but instead of going after the axion, this group is going after the sterile neutrino. It has all but been debunked, with only the tiniest little window remaining to search. A bunch of that window is now gone. When you see something like they're discussing new constraints or limits or narrowing the search field, it just means they looked somewhere and came up empty. And so they get to say they succeeded in crossing that range off the list even though they looked there because they believed their success would be in finding it. It's a nice way of saying they failed. Up next, we are looking back at a minor geomagnetic event 4,000 years ago. It was probably the largest deviation that had occurred since the actual Gothenburg excursion 12 to 13,000 years ago, and the current shift we're seeing of the magnetic poles on Earth today exceeds that event 4,000 years ago as its maximum deviation was about 20 degrees. A quick nod for veteran observers who have been keeping up with all the stories about how melting at the poles triggers cooling. This one, out of a global warming, show how surprised to find the same cooling forcing from the melting at high latitude. Observers are not surprised one bit. Up next, Zarkova's betrayal continues and seems to know no bounds. When Valentina Zarkova came out five years ago saying we were headed for a grand solar minimum and that it was on our doorstep, she made many mistakes. But the community at large got behind her because she is a professor and was saying the same basic conclusion that we were grand solar minimum was coming, probably in cycle 26, 10 years from now. Now, despite that agreement on the finish line, we insisted it was a ruse to trick our community. The factors used by Sarkova didn't make any sense. And since that time, she has adjusted and readjusted the numbers in every one of her papers. In this latest one, no grand solar minimum coming at all at least not for hundreds of years. I hate to say I told you so with her, but I told you so about 10 times over the last five years. Moving on to climate forcing papers, first of three here that were hiding amidst a flurry of global warming papers. One of the authors of these three actually sent me all three last night. He had been hoping to see them last week in our coverage of the upcoming EGU meeting. As we're on to the second paper here, identifying the 11 year cycle across almost every geophysical parameter. And last but not least, Geez, we pushed for this so hard we exhausted ourselves and almost gave up. Yes, please put volcanoes into climate models in a proper way. One good stratospheric injection, and the world takes a dive. We greatly appreciate your support. Suspiciousobservers.org homepage has our free movies and playlists. Catch up if you can. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.